Hello guys, and welcome to the final episode of Yakuza 6, A Song of Life. This is it. It's all ending today. But before we do that, we have to see exactly how all of this is going to end. We are about to go into the final showdown. Kiryu and Nagumo are willing to put their very lives on the line for the people and the town that they care about. This is it guys, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoy Yakuza 6. Anigi, you haven't left any memories of Kamuro Chou? If you do, you'll have to go to the end of the last one. Is that right? Are we ready? Let's do it. Yes, go. Such a somber mood. Onomichi Jinkai Chou Honsha de Kyo Ogo Iwami Heizou Kai Chou no Shasong ga ito namare mashita. Chou Yamato Kyu to sareru Nazo no Senkan ga fujou go. Juubun na setsumei no nai mama Kenjou jisatsu o togeta Iwami Kai Chou desu ga Iwami Zou Sen ga Yuta ka. Oh my god. Shi no kouki sha de aru Iwami Tsuneo sha chou no kongo no doukou ga chumoku sare mas. Akiyama. Bro, you had one job. You don't know how stressed out I am right now. お待ちしてました。二代目クルス・タケル襲名のいい余興になります。すぐに三代目が必要になる。わしは、ソメヤユンが嫌いじゃなかったんですがの。あの美人ママも。かわいそうなことしたと思うとる。腰ミス。広島のこの土地であんたに勝ち目はありませんよ。キリュさん。勝ち負けに来てるんじゃねえ。お前らさえこの世から消えてなくなりゃ全部蹴りがつく。わしら
do it. No, I want to take out the small fry first. Then I'll deal with you, Koshimizu. Get out of here. hits on him though. Nagumo's gonna offer me that opportunity. turn the music volume up a bit. I wonder if we can do that. Or is that not an option in this game? Nope. We might have already checked that before. Maybe not, but that sucks. trying hard, isn't he? Oh, he got me. He got me. I've been dodging him pretty well, but <laughs> my HP bar is telling me another story. I don't even know what happened. All 
Alright, we're almost there. My God. <laughs> Damn. So, 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 This, uh, what is wrong with these people? This, uh, how could no human being with any, they've lost all shreds of humanity. Like, she just got out of a coma. She's a defenseless girl and, and she has a baby and she's not even involved in any of this. I know they're criminals, but even criminals have their scruples, right? Like, あ、ボチャボ。な、なんでじゃ。本庄という東京の刑事を知っているか。何今日の昼、その本庄に警察上層部から。I なんでここ伊達さん、あなたこそなんでこんな真似をしたんです。どういうことだ。誰の命令でここに。伊達さん、これは監禁の現行犯です。無駄な抵抗はしないでください。違うぞ、本庄。こいつは遥かたちを狙
押さえつけられりゃ反発するのが子供ってやつじゃねえか裏社会でこそ生きるこの俺の才能に親父は気づいていたはずなのにな伝説の国道クルスタケルの名は俺が名乗るべきなだ Nobody fucking cares. 中数える前に立て出なきゃ女を殺す。おじさん。おっと、無理かな。I think I know who's gonna die. I hope I'm wrong. Oh, yes. Oh, we can let. We can let loose now. Let's go! Yeah! Oh, poor Haruka. からたっぷり思い知らせてやるぜふざけるな今見た踊れの相手はこっちじゃお,おじさんもう思い残すことは何もねえ一緒に地獄まで付き合ってもらうぜ石見の坊ちゃん貴様お前らだけは生かしちゃおけねえ全部ここで終わらしてやる It, isn't it? This is our. This is our last fight with Kiryu. This is the last time we're gonna see him throw off his shirt majestically.
という素晴らしい味だ Hey, I was eating! It's not fair. Seriously? Like, screw this guy, though. Yeah, fuck right off. He is doing some damage to me. Oh, that grab is not good. dodge that when he charges at us and block it Punch him. Somebody! Somebody!
not... Kiryu's the one who's holding the person, not the other way around. No. 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 There's more. I didn't I didn't come this far just to for it to end like that. Happens, it's not fucking fair. I don't, I'm speechless. キヨちゃんはずっとあんたのことを気にかけとったんじゃ。三つの時に別れたんじゃったの。覚えてるんか？母ちゃんのこと。写真でだっけ？でもお父さんがいろいろ話してくれた。ソメヤが。お父さんの仕事のせいでお母さんは出ていくしかなかったってお父さんはいつも自分が悪いんだって言ってたそうかほいじゃがあいつはあんたのことを大事に育てとったんじゃなのうキヨちゃん
小清水のやつがかくまっとったんじゃって小清水は空砲で清美さんを撃ったんですうんあの女を助けようと自分で腹さした染谷に腰水も何か感じるもんがあったそうであいつも世が世じゃったらあんなゲスどもに使われる男じゃなかったんじゃ菅井と岩見の言いなりになっとる自分にええ加減嫌気がさしただけと違うんかそれでもいいだろうおかげで清美さんは生きてる泣く者かしらも哀れじゃのう恋敵は清美さんのために自決した聡明やじゃどうあがいてもかじめはないじゃろうしばらくは広瀬一家の立て直しに専念してもらおう後のことを頼むな田頭松永の兄貴も沖縄に行っても達者でな言うたはるかちゃんはいはいもちろんはるともじゃうーん桐生の兄貴のことは残念じゃったわしらもまだ信じられんあがに強い人が Stop it! でもこの子は大きくなってもきっとおじさんの背中を覚えてると思います私も絶対に忘れないです、no. おじさんとこれまで一緒に歩いてきた道の続きを、no. 今度はこの子と歩かなきゃ出たとこで疲れとるやろが俺らもお前が出てくんのを待っとったんや話は聞いとるやろ陽明連合会と戦争が始まるで四代目の首取られた言うて若い春が生きりたっとる、stop. もう止められん俺も気持ちはわかるけどなそしたらどないする六代目クルスタケルは死に息子の岩見常雄もぶち込まれた小清水って男は陽明連合会の跡目としてまだ広島を掌握できていない何や今が広島への攻め時や言いたいんかまあ広島でもうちの報復が来ると思うとるはずややるんやったら早い方がええやろ俺は、no! 後悔している言えた義理ではないか俺はお前の親のつもりだったならば俺は親として伝えなければならないことが山ほどあったはずだだが俺はそのことに正面から向き合おうとしてこなかったそんな俺の前にさまざまな親子の形が次々に現れたしがらみを掟に縛られ
子供を純粋に愛してやれなかったことにようやく気づいた親親を超えることで認めてもらえる愛してもらえるとかたくなにまで信じた子供たちそんな親と子の隔たりが多くの不幸を招くのを目の当たりにした彼らは親子として向き合っていなかったのだろうかそうじゃない彼らは親子の絆を信じていたそれぞれが苦しい定めの中で親子の絆を確かめようと必死で思い悩み続けていたはずだただ彼らには親子として共に過ごす時間が足りていなかったそれだけだでもそれはきっと大切なことなんだと思うだが俺も彼らと同じ鉄を踏んでいた俺は曲がりなりにも登場界の四代目だった六代目としてお前を登場界に引き込んだのも俺だ大悟俺はお前の親としてそばにいてやる必要はないと思っていた道島大悟を男と見込んでお前に全てを託していたといえば聞こえはいいだが俺はお前と持つべきだった親と子の時間を捨てて運命と向き合わず消せない過去からも目を背け逃げていただけだあの親子たちのことを思うと今の俺には言葉もないそんな俺がお前や登場界の親だと名乗る資格はないだからこの手紙を読んだ時もし俺が死んでいたとしてもどうか親の敵を討とうなんて思わないでほしい俺の命にそんな価値などないそれが俺の最後の頼みだ大悟親からもらった遺言を俺は守ります。広島と戦争はしないその上で陽明連合会にはこっちから申し出て五分の杯を交わしますフッ<笑>キルーちゃんに先手を打たれとったわけか俺はあの人の手紙に超えるべき親の背中を見た。親やってやないかキリュウ just keeps going and going またこのビルでスカイファイナンスを開きますんだねご挨拶をと思いましてああ聞いたよおめでとうそれで桐生さんのことですけど伊達さんは本当にあの人の遺体を
間違いなく確認したんですかああそうだもう一回だな頑張れ頑張れさあ来いハルト頑張ってハルト頑張れ頑張れハルト頑張って頑張っておおすごいハルトもうちょい桐生さんの死を確認したのはあなただけだその後遺体は不可解にもすぐ火葬にされちまった桐生には遺族がいないあの日俺が遺体の確認に呼ばれたのは警察関係者の友人としてだ何度聞いても答えは同じってことですか<笑>いつか本当のことを話せる日が来たらその時は違う答えを聞かせてもらいますよね伊達さん見えるか桐生一馬君つい今しがた大道寺実先生が亡くなられたと知らせがあってな<笑>誰だあんた私は政治家としてのイロハをすべて大道寺先生に教えられたものだ今回の尾道の一件マスコミも世間も大騒ぎだ選挙も近いというのに全く困ったもんだ火消しに追われて身が持たんよまあ時間が経てば火は消えるそんなものだだがつまらん火種が大ごとになることもある超大和型戦艦クルスタケル岩見つねをそれらと大道寺先生とのつながりが万が一でも表に出るようなことがあってはならんそうだろうもしあんたからマスコミにでも知れれば先生の名前に傷がつくするとそのことで過去の過ちを詮索される人間が出てくる彼らの多くは今この国を支える指導者たちだわかるかねつまりあんたもその一人で口封じの賄賂ってことかいろいろ調べさせてもらったよ養護施設のことを気にかけているんだって you could say that. じゃあ金も必要だろう私は情け深い人間でね憔悴している人間に無知は打たないそれを気持ちよく受け取って全ての秘密を守るという意思それさえ示してくれればいいんだ断る何全てを秘密にしたいのなら<笑>俺の条件を飲めな何だと自分が何を言ってるのか分かっているのか東島大吾という男を無所から釈放しろ奴が出てこないと広島で戦争が起こるぞこれ以上の火種は
起こしたくないんだろうそんなこと貴様自分の立場が分かっているのか条件が飲めないんならこの取引はなしだ秘密に一生を怯えて暮らせ極道ごときがなめるなよ命が惜しくないのか場合によってはお前が大事にしている人間も巻き添えになるぞやってみろええいろいろ調べたんだろう俺を本気で怒らせたらどうなるか試してみるかええなら貴様が秘密を守るという保証はどうしてくれる死んでやるよ何あんたの力でこの病院で発行した死亡届を作ってくれそうしたら俺は一生消え続けてやる最後の条件はそれだ何言ってんだキリュウ聞いていたろ俺は消える俺の死体を確認したとあんたがみんなに伝えてくれどうなんだこの男が証人だ条件を飲むのかおいふざけるなって分かってんのかお前そんな真似したらもう二度とはるかやはるとに会えねえんだぞ条件のもう。くそ。なんで。なんでお前ばっかりこんな。はるかやはると。それに。俺の周りにいてくれた。多くの仲間たち。あいつらを守れるなら俺は喜んで死んでやるさ。
I don't know what to think about that. I'm kind of pissed off. <laughs> I was in this kind of holding my breath state for a long time. I wasn't convinced. I was not convinced at all. And so... So I was... I was like kind of like just holding my breath for the the whole end of that because i was like there's no way there's no way that it ends like that i think i'm just gonna have to think um about this i i need to let everything kind of sink in <sighs> i do have mixed feelings right now like clamp said you can finally be free of everything. The bad and the good. And I I just you know I think back to Kiryu when he was staying away from Haruka in five And he was miserable. After everything that he's been through, I feel like... <clears throat> I wanted something better for him. <sighs> it's just so painful for everyone. Okay, we have made it to the conclusion of... Yakuza 6, we've made it to the conclusion thus far of Kiryu's story. That ending left a lot to be processed. I've had a little bit of time to do that, and I'm not sure if I have too much of any new insight to share with you guys, but maybe a little bit. But first, let's talk about the game overall. I think some of the highlights of this game were the characters, we got a new cast of characters, allies and villains alike, and in RGG's special way of doing so, they made us fall in love with these characters and become highly invested in their stories and what happens to them, and I gotta say that I really really enjoyed Yuta a lot, of course Nagumo as well. I really enjoyed Somaya's character as a villain, question mark. Well, he was definitely an antagonist, and I wish we could have seen a little bit more of him, but I thought that he was very interesting. We got to learn a little bit about his past, a little bit about his motivations, and his relationship with Kiyomi, and I thought that was a lot of fun to see. This game reminded me a lot of Yakuza 3 in a lot of different ways, setting the focus on Kiryu, the kind of backwater Yakuza group that he kind of fall, finds himself becoming a part of. I loved the setting of Onomichi. I think it's one of my favorite um, places that we visited in this series. It just feels super laid back, like we're going on a fun little vacation and it looked beautiful right by the ocean. The view from our apartment window was just gorgeous. We had some very, very awesome sub stories in this game and lots of callbacks, which was a lot of fun to see. I especially loved the Onomichio stuff and the Pocket Fighter. Those were so much fun. And this game had some very, very awesome tracks in the soundtrack. I especially enjoyed the song where, um, uh, what's it called? Destiny? The one where you're fighting Somia, um, the final fight with Somia at the top of the Millennium Tower with the violins. That one was so cool. There's, of course, lots of amazing tracks on this, um, OST, which is great. 
I felt like the combat for me felt a little bit flat, maybe a little bit of a step backwards from some of the previous titles that we've seen. I think after playing 4 and 5 and being able to switch back and forth between the different characters kind of spoiled me a little bit and then to just be stuck as one character for this game and then even then I just something didn't feel right to me and I can't really put my finger on it it just it wasn't as exciting as I remember being in some of the previous games if somebody can tell me why then let me know maybe you guys have no idea what I'm talking about and lastly we have to talk about this ending well, before we get into that, I will say that I really, really missed um, seeing Kiryu as, you know, the conclusion to his kind of saga. Um, I missed seeing him interact with Daigo and with Majima and with Saijima. I could have um, gone with a little more screen time with those three. It was nice that we had Akiyama, at least we had that. That was amazing. But I did really miss the other characters, especially Daigo, especially Daigo. Even though I would say that Majima and Saijima are more of like my favorite characters than Daigo is, I just feel like I love seeing him in stories with Kiryu, so I really wanted to see that. Okay, the ending. <laughs> um, when I finished the game, I felt a little bit like something was missing like the ending it didn't really hit for me and I couldn't figure out why and I I might have a little bit of a better idea I am very curious to know what you guys felt when you completed this game so they have like did you die right and because of how many times Kiryu has died or like Majima died, but then they're never really dead. I couldn't feel that sadness because I was kind of like waiting for them to say just kidding. So it was kind of like a stressful, just holding my breath for the rest of this very long ending. And then it's like, oh, well, he is alive. He's alive, but but he doesn't want anybody to know he's alive, which sucks, right? Very tragic. And you want to like it's like okay, now can I be sad? But then they kind of pull you back with oh, Kiryu is looking on at everybody from the distance and and Haruto sees him and and he's going to be like okay, like you know, I want to be with my family no matter what. This is what I want. And, you know, they give us this, like, maybe he's gonna, he's gonna go to them. And that's what we want, right? We want to see that emotional reunion. And we're just like, we're craving it, man. Like, we're thirsty for it. Like, come on, kid, you just go. And then he, and then he walks away. And we are left just feeling like we've been pushed and pulled in so many directions in the past half hour or however long we were sitting through those um, cutscenes for that ending that it just kind of tapered off. I, I feel like Kiryu's decision, I didn't have a problem with that per se, but I feel like the execution of it didn't hit for me because when you pull us in all these different directions it's like oh we're sad oh we're not sad anymore oh wait we're sad wait maybe we're not sad and it's just like after you play with like people's emotions like that they need like some kind of I need I'm speaking for myself only here I need some kind of release I need either like something super happy or something super sad like don't put me in the middle and they they put me in the middle they put me in the confusion zone they put me in 
the I don't feel quite like I got the closure that I needed. So that's just me. I'm sure a lot of you absolutely loved it. And like I said, it wasn't how it ended, but how the ending was executed, if that makes sense. I did want to kind of explain that because endings are super, super important to me. And I couldn't figure it out for the longest time why I felt the way I did. And I think I kind of have a better idea, maybe. Um, my opinion on it might change over time. You never know. The game was amazing, and I don't want to take away from how much I loved it, but the ending kind of slipped away. Anyways, we are not done with RGG Studio games. I am going to be playing my first Judgment game, and after that, I'm going to be starting Yakuza 7 like a dragon. Now, stay tuned. I will upload very shortly, if you're watching this uh, the day of being uploaded, my reaction to the Gaiden trailer, which I had no idea really existed until I finished the game and my chat was like, okay, now go watch this trailer. Um, so that game is coming out sometime this year. So Judgment, like a Dragon 7, and then Gaiden wherever, somewhere in there as well. Okay? Okay. I'll see you guys in the next playthrough. Thank you guys for being here. I hope you enjoyed it. Please let me know all your thoughts on this game and the ending. I'm very curious to know what you guys thought about it. Don't be shy with the word count. Tell me everything. Write me a paragraph. I'm very curious, and I'll see you guys. Bye.